Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about solving trigonometric identities when we are given information from the unit circle or the Cartesian plane. Um, in order to solve these types of problems, you need to feel comfortable with SOHCAHTOA. Um, we need to feel comfortable with our quadrantal angles. Uh, if you remember, those are the angles that fall directly on our axes. And then finally, we need to feel good with Pythagorean theorem. Uh, that's simply a squared plus b squared equals c squared, solving for any missing side of a right triangle. So with all of those things in mind, let's go ahead and jump into our first problem. <clears throat> so I want to find the value of cosine theta if sine of theta equals 6 over 10 and theta is greater than pi over 2 but less than pi. So when I start thinking of my quadrantal angles, I know that since obviously they give us our question in radians, we have 0, we have pi over 2, we have pi, 3 pi over 2. I need to figure out where my angle, where my value of theta lies. Well, since the value of theta lies between pi over 2 and pi, we know that we're going to fall within quadrant 2. So when I know this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply draw a triangle and connect my triangle to the x-axis. In doing this, I know that theta will always connect to the angle closest to the origin. And from there, we can utilize SOHCAHTOA to help us find the value of our sides. So here, they give us sine of theta equals 6 over 10. So utilizing our trig ratios from SOHCAHTOA, I know that sine is the opposite side over the hypotenuse. And so that allows me to fill in my triangle with my two sides that I'm given. And they want us to find the cosine of theta here. Well, utilizing our Pythagorean theorem, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to solve for that missing side. So we have a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So we have 36 plus b squared equals 100. Subtract 36 from both sides. Wind up with b squared equals 64. Take the square root and we get b equals 8. Now here's kind of the catch. Since we are in uh, the coordinate system here, right? Our triangle falls within quadrant 2. Look at the values that we have here. 6 is really kind of our, our, our y value here. We have, we have gone up to a point that is 6 uh, units above the x-axis, so that's a positive 6. Now notice, whatever is this length, which we just found to be a length of 8, we are still in the quadrant system, the, court, uh, the Cartesian plane. This has to be negative 8 because we are on the negative side of the x-axis. Um, and that follows um, the, if you've, if you've seen them before, it follows um, that whole mnemonic device of all students take calculus. We know that in quadrant two, only sine and cosecant are going to be positive. Tangent, cosine, secant, and cotangent will all be negative, which makes sense here because now when we find the value of cosine, cosine of theta is going to be the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. Clearly that'll simplify to give us negative 4 over 5, but I'm just keeping it in terms of what they gave us for sine here. But anyway, I hope that you guys feel a little bit more comfortable with setting up these triangles in the, the coordinate system and solving for the missing sides given the information that we have. So Thanks for checking out the video. Um, I really hope it helps. Hope you guys feel a little bit more comfortable. And uh, I will see you all next time.